Hello, friends. It's important to make space for peace intentionally because it's so easy to get swept up with what's going on around us and all the external stimuli. Whether that may be what we see, what we hear, feel, or the energy that we absorb subconsciously. Finding inner peace is especially important for HSPs like me. Because you are more aware of the subtleties and your brain processes information and reflects on it more deeply. And so you can easily be overstimulated or overwhelmed. And it is the same for introverts who feel more satisfaction from meaningful activities like reading and creating rather than external stimuli. The first way to incorporate more peace into your day is to be in nature. Some things that you can do are walking, hiking, swimming, or just gazing outside. When we are in nature, we get a better perspective on ourselves and on our emotions. And it instantly uplifts our mood with good energy. When we are outside, we can absorb something called phytoncide, which are healing negative ions that are abundant in nature, like mountains, parks, waterfalls, beaches, forests, and wherever there is dirt or earth. When we get more phytoncides, it increases serotonin and relieves depression, stress, and it really boosts our energy. In our everyday life, we are surrounded by positive ions, especially in our homes, in buildings, and offices. So it's so important to get more negative ions when we can. And that is the basis for something called forest bathing or shinrin yuk, or in Korean it's called sanlim yuk, which is the practice of going outside into forests and breathing in the forest air for health. Also, when you are outside, we can do something called earthing, which is touching the earth with our feet directly. So we may be walking on earth with our bare feet or wearing grounding or earthing sandals or shoes. With this, the body is infused with negative ions from the earth and this allows us to align our bodies to the same electric energy level as the earth, which can be so healing. The second way to incorporate more peace into your day is to use and move your body. Engaging in physically challenging activities or anything that makes you sweat a little bit at least can really be helpful in allowing you to feel more at peace inside. Some example activities could be gardening, swimming, cleaning even, and hiking. When we use our body, we can quiet our minds. And while our body might become tired at the end of the day, we may realize that we're more at peace inside. We also feel good and can also become more energized the next day as well. So see if you can find an activity that will physically engage you and challenge you at least a little bit and see how that makes you feel afterwards. The third way to incorporate more peace in your day is to do some guided meditation. Meditation these days and the practice of mindfulness has shown a lot of evidence and support that it can be very relaxing and therapeutic for you. 
becoming quiet and focusing on your mind, and the same time, getting in touch with your body can be very peaceful. I recommend guided meditation because it's easier to focus, especially for beginners, and you can also feel better when you're just not used to sitting with your thoughts. The fourth way to incorporate more peace in your day is to have a little bonfire or hearth fires, or even just light a candle. Sitting in front of a fire can be very therapeutic because of negative ions that they emit. When you sit in front of a campfire, it feels so good, and a lot of people say that they just focus on the flame in front of them, and their thoughts seem to slow down. And the last way that I want to share that will help you incorporate more peace in your day is to do a little bit of expressive art making. When you make art, I want you to see if you can do it in a way that allows you to express your emotions and thoughts in a more freeing way. So rather than choosing coloring books or painting by numbers or something like that, I want you to see if you can use art as a way to communicate your thoughts and feelings in a visual way. And also, when you make art, see if you can choose different kinds of art materials that you haven't used before. And oftentimes, I recommend sensory-oriented and more grounding art mediums, such as clay or even fiber and yarn, to use as a way to relax and calm yourself. When we use these more sensory-focused mediums, it's easier for us to get in touch with our bodies, and it's easier for us to. Let go of tension because we are more focused on our bodily sensations rather than our thoughts. So some example activities or mediums that you could use are crocheting, weaving, using clay to mold into different things, fabric collages. Or making three-dimensional sculptures with different found objects or junk objects. What are some activities or things that you do and you have tried that really relaxes you and gives you more inner peace? I hope that you could try one of these ideas out for yourself. And feel a little bit more at peace in your daily life. Thanks again for watching. I hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye.